Todd, you wanted to see us? Yeah. Thanks for coming in, guys. What's up, us? Well, here it is. We're the news media, which means the public depends on us to report the facts and hold those in power accountable. Now, we asked Donald Trump the hard questions, and we never let up. And that's not going to change just because Joe Biden happens to be president. Oh, oh no. Calm down. Definitely not. <laughs> that being said, we are going to make a few adjustments. Like what? Well, uh, Michelle, uh, you're covering that story on migrant children at the U.S.-Mexico border, right? Si. Well, when Trump was president, what would that headline have been? Trump puts kids in cages. Now that it's happening under Biden, we're going to want to massage that headline just a little bit, you know, so we can be even more accurate in our reporting. So instead of kids in cages, we're going to say kids in temporary housing. Oh. Hey, I have some of those old pictures of brown kids in temporary housing from the Obama administration. We could just reuse those. Nice, Philip. Recycling is good for the environment, and it is great for the news cycle. For example, let's say BLM has a protest, which turns into a riot and a building catches fire. Now we have all that footage of those Trumpers storming the Capitol to balance it out. Split screen it. Uh, but if we split screen it, where's my face gonna go? I think we should just show the Trumpers. Todd, what about executive orders? When Donald Trump used them, I wrote that he was literally Hitler. Did Hitler issue a lot of executive orders? I don't know. Probably. Could we get someone to fact check that on Snopes? You know what? Don't worry about it. It's a great comparison. I know. But what if Biden passes an executive order? If? Yeah. No, he will be. Whether it's canceling student debt, joining the Paris Accord, reversing Trump's orders on Title IX, or even a little bit of gun control. Oh, nice. I agree with all those things. Well, you have nothing to worry about. Still, executive order has such a bad connotation now because of the bad connotation I gave it. Reporting on it would be feel icky. But when Biden does it, he won't be issuing an executive order. He'll be speaking his truth. Oh. And if JB issues an especially controversial EO, he's just being a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uncle Joe. You bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you bad bitch, Uncle Joe. <laughs> oh. Hey, yes, Philip. What about foreign military action? You mean defunding the enemy? You know, when Trump was president, he approved over 12,000 drone strikes? That was really bad. Biden's going to continue ordering drone strikes. That's also really bad. No, because they're not going to be called drone strikes anymore. They're going to be called equity drops. Oh. Like when Obama did them. Obama ordered drone strikes? Oh, yeah, all the time. Weird. I don't remember ever reporting on that. Could we Snopes that one, too? Todd, I have a question. Biden's been accused of sexual assault and inappropriate touching. You mean allegedly? Biden's allegedly been accused of sexual assault and inappropriate touching. Biden has allegedly been accused of showing physical empathy. Oh. So then all the sniffing would be... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's all well and good, Todd, but I'm used to verbal sparring with President Trump, getting into it with him at live press conferences. Of course, and the people love it. Yeah, you put your life on the line. I know, but what if I agree with everything the president says now? Oh, I disappear. Oh, yeah, I see your point. Maybe if you finish some of the president's sentences for him, you could still get some screen time. For instance, if, if Biden is stumbling over a sentence. Uh, you mean his empathy stutter. Very good, Michelle. So <laughs> if Biden is experiencing an empathy stutter, you could just go ahead and finish that sentence for him. Whoa. Nicely done, Bob. You're going to be back on TV in no time. Finally, the problem of police violence against black men. Never heard of it. Are you coming for my job? <laughs> Am I? Whoa. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe to the channel and then share it with everybody that you know. One of my goals is to do more videos like this and I can only do it with support from people like yourself. So if you're feeling so inclined, why don't you head over to theluperez.locals.com and join the Lou Perez community over there. I'd really appreciate it. And with your help, we could save the future of comedy.